Good morning, and welcome to the Mid-America Regional Council's Local Officials Briefing for Monday, April 27th. Today, we'll take a look at the current situation and what's happened over the past 10 days. I'm Mike Parker, and I'll be presenting today on behalf of the Mid-America Regional Council. Should you have any questions during the briefing, please add them to the comments section of the video, and we will do our best to respond to them in a future briefing. Common Operational Picture The KC Region COVID-19 Resource Hub is now publicly available at preparemetrokc.org. The Resource Hub is updated daily with the most current information on COVID-19 cases, tests, and deaths, as reported by the nine counties in our region in Kansas City, Missouri. Our source for forecasts is the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, the IHME, at the University of Washington in Seattle. This is the best information available today. The situation can rapidly change. Based on current projections, the peak of infection and resource requirements for the state of Kansas was April 20th. Given the uncertainty of forecasts, the IHME also provides a range of peak resource use, which is April 9th to May 5th. The peak death rate in Kansas is forecast for April 29th. The IHME containment strategy for Kansas is June 21st. That is the date when relaxing social distancing may be possible with containment strategies that include testing, contact tracing, isolation, and limited gathering size. Based on current projections, the current peak of infection and resource requirements for the state of Missouri was April 22nd. Given the uncertainty of forecast, the IHME also provides a range of peak resource use, which was April 12th to April 23rd. The peak death rate in Missouri was forecast for April 14th. The IHME containment strategy for Missouri is June 10th. That is the date when relaxing social distancing may be possible with containment strategies that include testing, contact tracing, isolation, and limited gathering size. Today, there are 2,119 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the region and 126 deaths. This represents an increase of 509 cases and 40 deaths over the past 10 days. The number of people tested in the region rose to 8,674, but numbers are incomplete since not all counties are reporting. This represents an increase of 2,645 people tested over the past 10 days. The MAC group is a multidiscipline, multi-jurisdictional represent, representative group that's organized to provide communication across the nine county region. The multi-agency coordination group met on Thursday to discuss criteria for relaxing stay-at-home orders and coordinating re-entry efforts. All future meetings of the MAC group will be treated as open meetings and public meeting notices will be posted on the public meeting calendar at the MARC website at www.mark.org. The strategic objectives are the focus of the work of the multi-agency coordination group. In addition to these objectives, we maintain the capability to respond to other events that threaten lives and property. The status of all seven lifelines throughout the region is green but all are hampered by a shortage of personal protective equipment, PPE, where the consumption rate is exceeding the supply rate throughout the region. Otherwise, all lifelines are functioning as required with no mission critical shortages of personnel, equipment, or supplies forecast for the next 48 hours. The weather forecasted for the next 48 should not have any impact on our response operations. Now I will provide a brief update on supporting functions and disciplines. ESF-8, Public Health and Medical Services. Regional leaders are working on strategies for relaxing stay-at-home requirements as soon as prudent with a measured approach. Essential factors include reduction in cases, widespread testing available for symptomatic individuals, access to personal protective equipment, PPE, and robust contact tracing capacity. Jurisdictions are expanding pop-up testing, walk-up, and non-referral test sites. 
Public Health and MARC are collecting information on testing locations, eligibility criteria, and instructions. Each of the local health agencies are developing a strategy to increase contact tracing. In Kansas, the Medical Reserve Corps has assigned staff to the Kansas City region to assist in contact tracing and other activities. On the Missouri side, jurisdictions are developing staffing plans. Public health directors are having regular discussions to discuss resource options. ESF-7 resources support. Multiple efforts continue to identify and secure adequate supplies of personal protective equipment, PPE. We are working on a regional cooperative purchasing contract. Staff and local subject matter experts reviewed bids from 14 vendors and are checking references and business verifications. This information will be shared with regional emergency services and healthcare agencies. Emergency managers are coordinating the distribution of personal protective equipment in the region. Access to PPE decontamination services for healthcare facilities in the region is expanding. ESF 14 Community Recovery. Mark is partnering with the Institute for Building Technology and Safety, or IBTS, to provide a free webinar that will address the process for accessing FEMA public assistance funding. This webinar is scheduled for 9 a.m. on Wednesday, April 29th, and this is a free session open to all, but is ideal for communities that do not have in-house staff who are familiar with submitting applications or administering grants through the Missouri State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, or the Kansas Division of Emergency Management, KDEM. Contact Lauren Palmer at MARC to register for this webinar. ESF 15 Emergency Public Communication. Communicators continue to coordinate on regional messaging related to stay at home orders and public health guidance. Messaging has included statements thanking the public for continued cooperation and a reminder that our work is not yet done. Messages related to easing restrictions are under development. This concludes the update of supporting functions and discipline. In closing, we remind you that we are posting these periodic briefings on the Prepare Metro KC YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel and sign up for alerts to receive notification of future briefings. We will monitor comments posted to the briefing videos for questions that we can answer in future briefings. And remember the hashtag stay at home KC message. Stay safe, protect us so we can protect you. Stay strong, be informed, be positive. Stay home. It takes all of us to get through this together. Thank you for your attention. This concludes our briefing.